Okay. Good evening and welcome to this discussion for PhonePay and Exico. Firstly, thanks everybody who's taking part. We're getting an average of around 25, 26, sometimes 30 submissions, which is great. Uh, and also, the, we want to share an update. I think some of you must have read it in the newsletter. We've crossed 10,000 users. That's a very small milestone in terms of community sizes. But yeah, for us, it's an important milestone because some years ago, we had said, you know, one day we'll hit 10,000. So thanks all of you for being a part of this. And we can hack it in as one of the driving forces behind that, right? So we'll start with uh, Exigo rather than PhonePay. Lots of interesting things to discuss in that. Uh, and uh, it's an interesting segment to understand as a designer also, because there was this discussion on the group, another group, which is the discussion group, where I think uh, Karan had asked, he, why is it that designers are creating, even after a challenge like this, people are taking the easy way of, you know, Reading in complexity that exists in the app, right? And not making it simple for people who are doing this the first time. Uh, that, is, that is a very, very valid point. Uh, and some of you have actually tried to solve it. But our view is that that doesn't solve it for all the users, right? And the idea is to solve for majority of the users rather than some of the users. I'll show some examples of it. Team booking by itself, right? IRC TC for all of you. I'm sure all of you have tried at some point in time. Is a complex, complex method of doing uh, journeys, right? Uh, you know, the, there's wait list, there's remote port. In fact, there's there are six types of wait lists. Firstly, wait list as a concept, I think, is unique to India. I don't know. I mean, I'm I've not traveled by train the outside India that much. Planes, yes, everybody's aware. If there's a seat available on the flight, you get a seat, you pay for it, and that's it. You may or may not be able to board the flight. That depends on the airline. Even if you have a confirmed ticket, uh, you know, ticket with you. But in trains in India, it is this waitlist concept and all that. Right? The reason I share that is because it is important to respect that complexity uh, and people are used to it, right? Tomorrow, if there's a world where, you know, there's no waitlist, I think a lot of this concept and also classes, right? So that's the other thing. In India, there are so many classes, 3A, within that 3A, Tatkal, et cetera, et cetera. Then there is now 3M economy. It's crazy. So it's not an easy thing to solve. And uh, Exigo is kind of a leader in terms of information aggregation. May not be booking because they charge a fee, but information aggregation, I think they are probably the best, right? So just before the IPO, and why this problem, this is the second, second point I'm saying, why this problem statement came about was I, I'm a regular Exigo user and I've been pretty happy with the design that they have. Right? Yes, it is a little, it was a little cumbersome and some of the, some of you have actually replicated the earlier design. But it was functional. I think Paytm, Paytm trains, if you recall, I don't know if they still have that, was one of the best designs, most usable design, not best designs in aesthetics, but yeah, most usable designs in terms of getting that information aggregated in one go, making a decision, right? So for example, you're going from Mumbai there to Delhi. Tomorrow you want to book a Rajdani ticket into barely three seconds, you'll get all the information. In it. That is the beauty of that design. It may not or was the beauty of that design. But just before the IPO, I don't know exactly when it happened. They have done a design which is for design sake. And that's why this is a very important problem statement. Design for design sake means ki you, you know, have respect the spacing, respect the rounded edges, uh, add a few, you know, elements like the, you have some of our problem statements, right? You add some nudges, you add some tags. In this case, it goes to the other extreme. You know, people don't need those, right? So for example, I'll give you an example of lots of talk, but I'll just show you what I mean, right? And this is a quick breakdown. I would love to you do, do a detailed breakdown. But for example, this Tatkal. Now, it is a contradictory green. What does it mean? Like green here, you're saying, and this is just one example. There are several on this page. which go for a long time into it, but I won't. But Tatkal is a green chip. So I call this a chip. It's a tag chip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's also green signifies, you know, Availability that, you know, or a high chance, right? Oh, sorry, not availability, but a high chance. Now, we are used to green being positive. Positive means he mil gaya. You know, green means yes, okay, check, done, right? All greens mean that, right? Uh, but here, greens mean different things, right? So, Tatkal not available also is green. That's confusing to the user, which was not the case earlier, right? So, if you see the earlier version of the app, this was not how it was. I don't know why they've done that. Design-wise, in terms of spacing, etc., etc., it is a better design. But usability and functionality wise, I don't know if it is, it, it really does. Because as a user, I can say that for sure. I mean, the earlier one was better. But yeah, from a design perspective, maybe it's better for a few people. I don't know. Uh, that's why we felt, you know, can a redesign be done? And some of you, some of your submissions clearly show that there are certain elements that can be improved. Not that, you know, you can replace it, 
That's why we don't have an outright winner because uh, there are some gaps in that. So I'll just quickly touch on those. But yeah, this was the larger context of the problem statement. And a couple of other things. So IPO and the IPO context is also important. Now this is a, they are responsible for revenue. So there's this nudge here at the top, as you can see, get a full refund, fair, full fair refund. This is the primary use case of the app apart from ads, right? Ads and data aggregation and all of those use cases that come with it. But this is a very, very important use case because this is revenue directly. This is like an insurance kind of a product. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so if you have a hundred thousand rupee ticket, I think 250, I don't know the exact number, but one of my friends for a thousand rupee ticket, he played 1700. I was like, Itna he he like use karo, book karne ke liye so they have this in the flow somewhere, right? So this becomes an important nut. Some of you have completely ignored it for some reason, right? It is, it is actually the business model of this flow. Yes, there is ads also. So it's not the only one, but this is very important. You cannot just let go of it. You have to do it in a better way, maybe, right? So that is the IPO context and the rare case of more is more. Now, and from this, I'll come to the actual design that people have made. Now, this is a very, very important uh, thing to understand, right? While design says, and most of our challenges have also said previously, you need to reduce, uh, you need to reduce the number of information, amount of information that is shown on the screen. Our perspective in this challenge, at least, is the more information you are able to show without making it a kuchumbar, you know, a salad kind of a thing, it is better for the user, right? I, I know this sounds very contradictory, but I'll show you some designs and you'll understand why reducing the amount of information, as in, so for example, there are three line items or almost three and a half trains that are shown here. If you if you make it only one or two, like you have in, you know, uh, say a sky scan, you can see one, two cards of airlines that are flying from, from X to Y, it actually is not beneficial for you, right? So this is this is an important thing to understand and it's not it's not told by people. So that's why I wanted to share it. And from this, I want to come to the first few uh, submissions, not the winners, but first few ones, right? Uh, so this is from Jitendra. And so this was an interesting submission, right? So in case you have a look at it, first of all, like, hey, what did Jitendra kya kya? But Usability wise, I think this will do pretty well. And I know design wise, there are things that are missing or some things are not right, etc. But information wise, as you as I said, right, more is more. You have, a, you have all the information first up in one screen, right? A lot of users would actually enjoy using this. Yes, there are elements that you can do better, like the grays maybe could be toned down a little bit. You could have a few highlights, uh, the font sizes, the font colors rather, the the blacks, there could be variations of it rather than just a direct black everywhere. But he's done a very nice job in that. We didn't put it out because design-wise, it doesn't look that great. So we didn't appreciate you, unfortunately, Jitendra. But in terms of that point on more is more, this does a very good job, right? And all of the information, like for example, I'll just give you one more example, right? The date here, right? Friday, 28th June, he mentions the month in every card. Whereas most of you have done what Exigo does. Nothing wrong with that. What Exigo has done is, you know, vertically stacked. Some of you have done horizontally. But it creates a confusion here, right? So June ka July ho gaya pe to ho jata hai issue. Your ideally, the more information you have, the better it is, right? So contradictory point, right? So this is one uh, from Jitendra. Uh, then I'll come to some of the other honorable mentions. Yeah, so this is Kritika. And I think Kritika's is one of the cleanest submissions. And this goes to the point which I made, right? Can you, you know, the, the more, the less information you show actually hinders, right? So here now you can actually see only two trains that are flying, right? And you can only see two cards within them, right? There are there are four classes, three classes in this train. And then there is Tatkal also, right? So there are six dabbas. Now you can only see two. Just compared to the existing design, they have three. Yes, they could have been a three and a half, which some of you have done. But yeah, this is less information, but it's not going to be beneficial to the user, right? So design-wise, this is great. Like for airline booking, this works very well. That's why, in fact, if you see Exico's, uh, I think even the current app, the flow for, and there are other, you know, uh, engineering reasons for it, but the flow for flight booking is not the same as the flow for, at least the as UI is not the same as uh, the train booking or the bus booking. Each is unique, right? Each is unique in its own way because you can't use the same card elements that you use in train bookings in flight, right? So one, one example, right? Runs on, right? This is an important thing that has been added by her and we, we were happy that she did and some of the others have also done. This is important, right? But in say, for example, flight bookings, run zone is not a field at all, right? Train name is not a field at all. Train number is not a field at all. You don't care what the travel, because the flight has has all of these, but those are not important. What is important in flight is just the time. Whereas here, the train name is also important, right? The time 
yes it is kind of important but once you've decided it's not it doesn't matter that much right uh so yeah this was a unique case where less is more doesn't kind of work out more is more is better right uh this one was from shorya i think we were we were not sure whether to pick this in the winners etc a lot of good elements here like i like the way the you know filter sort has put in but just one point that was hindering us to you know uh, decide on this as being one of the winners is that the main thing here was the color you know coordination right so for example waitlist 3a waitlist 12 3a waitlist 19 right now here i'm assuming the person is saying ki carrying forward from the color scheme that igdigo has ki here there is a higher chance in this right but it's not evident right this also looks this looks positive this looks negative but dono bahut hi pass hai right sath sath seat ka fark is how the brain is thinking but that is not the case there is one more parameter which is the percentage chance of it being confirmed that's the data aggregation that igdigo is doing as well as like irctc i don't know if they share it with igdigo but yeah that has not come through and aage ke isme wo color hai hi nahi so it becomes a little difficult then to judge because some of the important parameters that others have taken care of or at least have thought about this design has not whereas all the other elements i think it's very well done so this for example see the refund card it just kind of sets fits into the page right rather than it looking like an ad which it does in exigo design so this is nicely done this element is nicely done but yeah if you could have you know thought about this or you know put another card here in this line and explain what this color means because otherwise it, this looks like acha theek hai ticket confirmed mil jayega without the percentage chance it becomes a little difficult for the user to understand right so this was from pratika nice uh, so this was from shorya nice work uh this is an interesting idea from siddhant right so what he is trying to do is try, he i think he realized that you know that color playing with it and you know background shading is not working out so what he did is introduce his own uh, mobiage which is high medium low for chance of booking fair point but actually for the user it becomes one more thing to learn right uh, 91% chance of getting a ticket is much easier to understand than a high chance of getting ticket abhi high matlab kya high matlab 95 plus 75 plus is also hai तो वो बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है फॉर द यूजर टू एक्चुअली डिसाइड सी इज गॉट अ डिसाइड राइट इज गॉट अ डिसाइड व्हेदर इट नीड्स टू बुक दिस वन और दिस वन और दैट वन राइट एंड आई डोंट थिंक एडिंग दैट हेल्प्स सो दैट एक्चुअली कंफ्यूजेस वेयर एज द रेस्ट ऑफ द डिजाइन एलिमेंट्स आई थिंक वेरी वेरी नाइसली डन आई वुड से दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट डिजाइन सो टू स्पीक बट इट बट द मेन प्रॉब्लम इट काइंड्स ऑफ गोस अवे फ्रॉम दैट राइट तो इसीलिए वो नहीं है कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट ही इज डन बेटर देन द अदर्स आल्सो सो फॉर एग्जांपल एक्सिगो एंड एवरीबॉडी सबमिशन आई थिंक आई थिंक 90% ऑफ द सबमिशन what you've done is you've given the and in fact a couple of the ones that i showed earlier you've given a lot of prominence to uh, the time right uh, there is equal prominence i think in some cases even more prominence people hunt for the train name theek hai instead of number kya hai but sometimes number also matters but train name also matters as much as the time theek hai kaun si train ja rahi even if two trains go at the same time people have a preference for the train like a rajdhani has the number one preference if you have money to spend and you're not going on a very short budget Rajdhani will be number one pre pre uh, preference. Then Duranto or Augustan. In this case, I mean, this is a specific, very specific example. But if you see the design that these guys have, like Exigo, train name ko bahut chota kar diya, right? And the destination and origin stations ko zada diya. Obviously, there are des design decisions that they've done for some reason. And as a user, I don't agree with them. But he's kind of prioritized them almost equally. Train number ko sabse zada diya, but time ko kam diya, right? So time here also is less, right? Some of you have put time as a very important criteria, which may not be the case right so i just wanted to cycle through these uh, and this is also an excellent submission from swarnama uh, swarnava sorry swarnava uh, just one problem with this submission is that again less is more does not work out here and this is a classic case of that design is fantastic elements are fantastic and swarnava you must be wondering how you did not figure in the top two the reason is very simple right at one glance so assume you search ndl howrah to ndls date you dal dalia and you set go uh, and now you want to actually decide which train to pick right which train and which class two things you have to decide right in this one shot just this one screen you are not able to decide what do you have to do you have to come here acha is pe tap karke dekhna padega kya hai kaun is pe tap karke dekhna padega kya hai kaun is pe tap it is then becoming very difficult so if you saw jitender's design in one go in one view in say 10 seconds i was able to quickly see that information and again these are people who are used to it obviously new users this might feel good but eventually this will be a hassle so usability wise this might be something that is more difficult for a user to do than what exists in exigo i hope so now you get the point and others also get the point other design wise this is fantastic again same here the time has been prioritized higher yes in some cases matters but the name of the train also matters so maybe these are equal at least in my head at least they are equal priority right but the main main reason why this did not figure not for the design quality 
is this part, right? You have to go and tap here, you go and tap here. That is a bit difficult to do, right? So this this was for the Exigo challenge. Uh, and oh yeah, sorry, the winners. Yeah, so winners I want to touch upon. And there was an interesting discussion on the group, right? And I said, I'll touch on that. Uh, I, I'll, I'll come to the winner first. Uh, sorry, there was no winner. Uh, the featured design, the first of the featured design, which is Ansita's design. For some reason, people had some views on this key view, uh, visibility ka issue. Fair points. I think what matters more, and the reason why she did not uh, become the winner is not the visibility part, because wo sab mein almost wo thode -thode gaps, hai, right? And maybe when it was exported, it wouldn't come. I mean, in the Figma, it would be JPEG image. Mein nahi I'll ignore that. One is this part, right? This need not have to have a color. Like you just saw the submission, right? This 4.4 rating and food, it looks like an actionable item. Right? And and I'll just compare it to some of the other designs, right? You can cycle through and see this, right? I think this one has come through. See, see this. This suffices, right? So it's an extra, extra detail that is not needed. But barring that, I think most of the elements have come out very, very nicely. Look how the Tatkal has had a lesser prominence, right? Uh, so if you just compare here, Tatkal here and Tatkal here, and if you compare to the earlier Exigo design, those who are aware of it, there's an improvement on that case also, right? So for example, is me kaise rounded edges thode si So it looks like a newer, so sab kuch rounded hone lag like Google's next button on Google login, etc. Everything is rounded. That's why you need to be in tune with the times. Otherwise that square wala jo pehle chal it's pretty fine. Some other elements have also been added, like distance from, etc. Those elements, nudges have been added. And aisa nahi kiya ki because you know, detailing kiya gaya and spacing kiya gaya, information has been lost, right? So as you saw in the earlier, just shared design, information was lost in one go, right? So that's why this was one of the feature design. And the second one was from Menika. I think one of the main reasons, here thoda information loss hai, but one of the main reasons is this is the only design which writes waitlist, right? So obviously some people might have a doubt ki exactly waitlist care. The term itself might be a challenge. But everybody's writing WL. Now imagine, imagine, I told you there are six, I think there are six classes of waitlist. PQ, WL, RQ, WL. Kuch palle nahi hai when you first time go into that situation, right? <laughs> when you first time see it, it becomes a problem. So she's given space to, you know, manage that. At least have uh, information that a person can understand. Nice tags, faster is popular. It's a very, uh, nicely done there. But yeah, thoda sa space, I think could have been, you know, uh, sorry to say that, ki thoda compress kiya ja sakta. Largely because you could have shown one more line item and then maybe it could have been the number one. The way the dates have been aligned, again, very nicely done. A lot of nice things that have come to. And also this, I somehow like this element, you know, ki achha, ke WhatsApp wala jo hai, nudge at the bottom right where you're quickly accessible, I can quickly share it. Uh, fantastically done. Uh, like the icons, like a lot of the elements. But yeah, again, information is the most important thing for me. And one small niggle, this refresh icon itna bada banane ki actually zarurat nahi I think it could have been, you know, deprioritized or maybe the color could have been different. I'm picking holes here because that's my job. And I have to explain why, you know, it was not the uh, winner. So, so fantastic work done. And again, the nudge. So a lot of, so the winner's submission or the featured, one of the featured design did not have that nudge for full refund. It was a tag, right? Remember, it's not a tag. It is actually a way to make money for it. So it's an important thing. So from here, I'll go now to the other challenge, which is on, which was on phone pay. This was the earlier challenge that was done. And in phone pay, I think it was, it was a simple case of bar hota hai, uh, and this happened in payments apps, recharge flows, uh, or hota hai. credit card bill payment, not so much because there you have some information, but yeah, wherever there's a very simple use case, ki money has to be paid, right? Designers and companies struggle, ki achha, how to manage that space, right? I'll, I'll, I'll just explain what I mean, right? So for example, this is what phone pay's page looks like, right? All that information is needed to make the bill payment is the amount. Actually, because I know who I am, I know who this bill is for, and this is the logo from the external, because this is not the first page, remember. This is a page that comes afterwards. This is like a reminder from the top, those who use phone pay. There's a reminder at the top. There it's mentioned, Mahanagar, whatever, or MS, etc. bill due, blah, blah, blah. You tap that and you come in. So I'm already aware this is happening, right? This is not a reminder page. This is a reminder that has already been given. This is a detailing of that. So all that matters to me is basically the due date and the amount. Everything else on this page is completely irrelevant. Like last bit, okay, that matters to some extent, but all of that doesn't matter. So if actually it had to be designed, it was just the logo, the name, and some details needed to be shown and paid, right? Now what happens is that since you're creating an app, <laughs> the designers and people are tasked with, okay, no, no, this page will be a little bit. Otherwise, this page will be a reason, nahi hai, right? So how best to do that? And that is what we were thinking, right? So this page need not be redesigned because there's nothing drastically wrong with it. 
but can it be improved in a way so that you can add aesthetics, right? That was one important thing which we've not written in any of our past 30 problem statements. You can go and check. Aesthetic value, can it be improved? Because that is what the problem is with this page. It does not look like a nice, neatly designed phone pay page, right? Phone pay is one of the biggest uh, companies, so to speak, in the payment space. Is this the best that can be done? We don't think so, right? And this is this, we wanted to see what comes out. And we were very, very surprised with the quality that came through. So this is the winner. And this was Mayurish. I think, forget about the use case and, you know, solving the main problem, which is, and, and the number one thing that we said is prioritization of information. I think aesthetic wise, this piece, and I can vouch for this because I was a product manager, which was around recharges and postpaid bill payments. This mattered, matters a lot to users, right? Uh, if you can get some data and information and nudge the user, right? This is a nudge actually, right? This is a nudge because this is one place and my bill pay. Actual bill, jo physical, aata, they're also this kind of show. They show a graph, which is a bar graph, and each one has a different way of doing it. But this is a fantastic nudge to sell more things in future. How does that work? That one has to think about, right? So for example, can I, you know, pitch say credit-based payment or EMI-based payment or something of that nature, right? Those kind of financial products, if I want to think about, if you have more to show, only then you can do it. If I just show 2670, pay, pay, proceed, ho gaya. There are no nudges to then play around, you know, and open up things, right? So, for example, get a detailed analysis. Compare with other users how you're doing. Compare with Tane. So many new things come up. And that is the job of product managers and to some extent product designers also to think what more can be done. One is to solve the user problem and show information that you are told to show, which is one way of approaching them. The other is what more can be done for a page that is dead and boring. This is a very boring page. What more can be done? And I think he's done a fantastic way. I think he's the only one who's gone ahead and done more. And that's why he's the winner. Not so much design, etc. There are, I think, I think Omkar's design is much better. But in terms of thinking, what more can be done? He's put a very nice thought. Of course, there are different ways and different things that you can do, right? But this was one very easy thing to do because it matters a lot to users, right? And going forward, it's going to matter even more. People are going to pay a lot of attention to where their money is going and how I can do better or reduce my pay and how I can optimize them, how I can get maybe, you know, credit-based thing, different things. So, very nicely done. Good thought process. The second one was Omkar, obviously. Fantastic design. A uh, couple of niggles. I, and again, my job is to find them. That's why I'm, I'm sharing here. This is not a reminder page. I think the problem statement, while it said reminder, it is not to set a reminder on this page. It is from a reminder that you're coming. Right. So basically what happens is in phone pay, there's a notification icon at the top. From there, when you type, you come to this page. Right. So the idea was not to show a reminder, but the idea was to you know come to this page from a reminder. Right. Maybe it was not worth it, right? So this is not that important. Prioritization wise, this was not really needed here. It could have been a nudge here at the top somewhere, but it's not that important. Yeah, directly due date can each right? Other elements very nicely done. Just one thing, I think we mentioned keep maintain phone pay consistency. I think this is not a broken part of phone pay, whether proceed to pay wala ya pay now. That CTA is a fixed CTA, that is a standard CTA across the app. And again, picking holes, small, small holes, but there was no need to fix this. But this amount show karna, this thing from an implementation perspective can be a hassle, right? It's just a field here for you from a design perspective, but from an implementation perspective, like this unit is the same unit which is shown on all payment pages, right? So wo pura change karna padega structure. Is it needed? Does it add much value? I don't know. This works well when you have, say, just like Zomato or Blinkit case may, or even I think Swiggy may, if there is some toggle or there is some more thing that you can do there then it works as a good nudge. It is a nice nudge. It does uh, help the user. But since it's already called out at the top, it may not be. Needed. Again, small things, picking holes. Uh, but yeah, nicely designed. The way he's done the design, right? If you just spend a little bit of time, I don't know if it's visible here, the card that he always does a very, very nice job of the cards, right? Do check it out. Uh, excellent design, right? Uh, and some of the others. So Anirudh is one. I think he was the only one. In fact, I think we had 26 submissions I mentioned. He's the only one who did it in white mode. Everybody else was dark mode because the original was also in there. Just one highlight I wanted to share. Uh, but yeah, very nicely done. Uh, just that the others were better. The other two that came through better. And this, the way of aligning this, I don't think actually solves the problem. Makes it a little bit more complex. Like if you just compare with what PhonePay has, I don't know if it makes it easier. And I don't know if it needs that much. In, uh, as I mentioned, right? The person is already aware that this is my house. Because it's a journey. Se aana, right? And also this gray kind of feels a little dead there. Right. So maybe that could have been done a little bit better, but overall very nicely. Done, right. Uh, some of the others which are not there. So Prerna is one. I think this is very clean design. Again, if you want a clean design, it's it's I just want to give an example. That's why I'm highlighting Prerna. Very, very nicely done. Uh, copy 
uh, how it works. I, I don't know if they have how it works. I think it's read mode. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's a nice design. Okay? And the last one, I think this is the last one. This is from Rudra. Uh, overall, this was a very, very nicely laid out design. Okay. Just one, one problem was this due date could have come out a little better. Right. So overall, nice, nice one. And the thing that we like and why we wanted to put it, not just because of the design, the payment will reflect at the biller's end in two to three working days. Now, one thing you need to realize as designers and you know product people is that these guys are aggregators. These are not the direct payment processors, so to speak. So from here, it will go to say a Bharat bill pay from there, it will uh, reflect back. It There are steps to that, right? So if you pay on the due date, you may be late by one day. Of course, there's a very small penalty. I think 10 rupees or 20 rupees, but you need to be aware of that. And I think this gets does get mentioned outside somewhere. I do remember it was mentioned. But he's brought it here. It's a fantastic nudge that you brought in. What this does in terms of a nudge, it makes the user. So first time I see the reminder, I'm going and going uh, click pay. So for example, yeah, I think Chabbi said right? So so the uh, bill, uh, sorry, Chobi said right? I come on the 22nd and I see that within two days, it takes time for it to process. So if it's 22nd, I'll go and pay. Otherwise, what will happen is I will assume I can come on the 24th. Huh? I'll come on the 24th and make the payment. I might miss. That is one part. But my payment via full pay is delayed. Now remember why all of this conversation is important. Payment, uh, phone pay actually on credit cards. I think on debit cards, it doesn't charge. But on credit cards, it charges 2% fee. And that 2% fee is directly to itself. Obviously, it has some other people that it, uh, network players that it has to pay off. But it's important that phone pay precedes its payments as quickly as possible, right? So this nudge is actually, while it's a user experience nudge and help the user and information nudge, it is actually a business nudge also. See how nicely a business nudge comes through something that is good for the user also. Uh, and it helps phone pay because it gets money quicker, right? Imagine multiplied by this by millions. It makes complete sense to show this at the payment just before the payment, right? In fact, even the winners could take some inspiration from this, yeah? Uh, any other points that are there? Let me just have a look, quick look. Managing empty space, health build future. Yeah, so this, this is the one that I mentioned, right? Why is that the aesthetics and that graph matter? Because it opens up use cases. And this is a point that, most designers don't get first up. Product managers do get it. So people say product managers, why are they needed? I think this appreciation of what more is possible because you have visibility on systems and processes, etc. And also you interact with the marketing and the business teams. As designers, you should try and do that. In, within your company, you have a marketing and a business team. They are the guys who decide what is going to happen in future, right? So rather than just interacting with product designers, 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 try and interact with marketing and business folks and try and get feedback from them also. Right? They may not have design feedback to give you, but they will definitely give you business feedback. So product managers do that. They interact a lot with them. That's why they're able to assess, right? whenever a PRD comes, whenever a new thing, the product manager is the one who says, Kiye kar now it is actually that that gap is coming down. Most product designers are becoming product managers or vice versa. But yeah, that use case is a fantastic, one of the few problem statements where we've asked more to be done rather than less. right? And these already we've shared. In fact, in the problem statement itself, it was there. And why Mayurish one we've also mentioned is because of the improved aesthetic. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing I'll, I'll leave you with is that if for phone pay on the group, I'd shared a link where in case you want to. So a lot of people ask this and even when we do these review and, you know, uh, portfolio review, etc. for some people, they ask you, May, what problems can I solve and show in my case study, right? Phone pay is a fantastic example. Generally, you should focus on a large brand and a very relatable use case, right? So I've shared four screenshots. If you want, I'll after uploading this and sharing this, I'll share the link of that. I'll try to do that for Exigo as well. Exigo is not that big a brand name, but if you can just do user research and try and solve the, for those four, five screens, I think you will have a fantastic uh, case study, which is worth reading and which is enjoyable, right? Because it is as of today and it is a large brand, right? So in case people are struggling here, help me solve, uh, you know, help me add a case study to my uh, portfolio phone pay or even say cred may be a little difficult because it's not it's not as widely used so phone pay google pay for example right these are good case studies to take and try and improve high high hit use cases right so for example the payment flow in phone pay right that is what i've highlighted the auto pay uh the the ipo flow right those are the ones that you should think about improving and optimizing because they get visibility and they those are problems that people will also relate okay that's pretty much it long uh, story uh, thanks once again for participating and thanks for joining in this call. We'll share a recording on this very, very soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks.